sorry for the the boxes and all that at the beginning guys but can't be helped but I am really annoyed with myself because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out OBS and um, I sat and made all this and thought I was recording the screen and I wasn't able to record the screen I was actually still recording the internet screen um, the deviant art screen so and I sat and I done all this and yeah I wasn't recording it <laughs> so <laughs> kinda annoyed and then I done another video trying to explain about this and that wasn't recording properly either because it wasn't showing on the screen properly so I'm having to do this again so hopefully I can make this one a bit shorter but basically I used the majority of the items that I downloaded um, that I showed on my last video I think there was only a few that I didn't use um, but you know I've downloaded most of this I will link all the stuff in the description that I've used uh, in case you want to go on and like if you've got Photoshop you can use the stamps and stamp it out and then print it off or you can just take inspiration and use your own stamps maybe you've got a text stamp you could uh, probably do this background yourself um, as I say I showed you in the last video so you could probably recreate this background yourself um, or if you want the, the links will be there to download it yourself if you you know if you want to do it but if you're going to do it in your actual journal or do it in an actual um index card which this is you could just use watercolors just to create the watercolor background and then use your stamps to add the texture and maybe you'll have some like flowers you could tiny flowers you could stick down or stickers or you could even just you know put the flowers on it and put maybe some gems in it or whatever it's entirely up to you you don't need to um do this at all if you don't want to but if you do want to kind of um take inspiration from what i've did and um do it on your own in your journal you can go and print this girl out or you might use it as inspiration and draw it yourself draw something similar if you can draw i can't draw so i i use that and I, if i was to do this in my art journal then i would print this off but i don't have ink in my printer at the moment so i'm trying to do the digital things and then when i get ink in my printer i will print all these kind of things off i'm going to try and do a lot more of these index cards um and when i get my printer ink i'll just print them all off and use them as journaling cards in my art journal um but i downloaded this somebody made this i downloaded it used that you could just do it yourself if you like if you want to do this and you're just, you know but please if you do take inspiration from this and you try it yourself in your art journal or just a index card please uh, send me the link to either your video or share your picture um i don't have a group of my own at the moment but i've got a i've got a facebook page which is annie x h x all the one word and then crafts on Facebook you could post it on there um, you could I don't really go on Twitter much um, so you could share it on Instagram and tag me on an Instagram I'll share my Instagram link in the description if I remember it because <laughs> I don't really go on Instagram either um, but probably the best play the be if you're not if you're doing a video then link the video in the comments um, if you do go on Facebook um, and you're on, if you're in the International Crafters group on Facebook, you can share it in there and tag me. Um, if you're not in the, if you've got Facebook and you're not 
in the international crafters group then why not come on it's the best group um <laughs> so i'll link the international crafters group in the description as well um and you can go check that out so it's a really good group um i used to be in a well i'm a i'm still a, I'm a moderator at the moment but i used to be an admin in there as well and um it's run by two of my good friends nikki and eileen and um they're doing a great job and uh, yeah there's i think there's over like 1000 odds 1500 maybe members it's a great group um and it's a great environment everybody's so friendly and i are and you know so it's a great place to share your art um, and get inspired also so if you are on facebook on facebook and you are in international crafters and you do try and recreate this on your own using materials <laughs> um then share it please and let me see what you've created i'd be really interested to see what your take is of it um as i say you don't need to do the exact same um you could just take inspiration from it and do a totally different thing um or you could copy it <laughs> i don't know but anyway guys i will let you go um i hope you like it um, I'm quite proud of the way it turned out. I think it's cute. Um, but as I say, I love Photoshop because I'm creating stuff that I could create with physical materials in my art journal. But I'm doing it digitally and it's just fun, you know. Um, Deviant Art is great for, as I say, the stamps and stuff like that. It's just a really great website. Um, for having materials but I love the fact that I can like make index cards on you know digital and then when I put ink from my printer I can just print it off and use it in my journal so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment and guys don't worry I know that you didn't see me making this but I am going to do more of these videos um, and I am going to make sure that you can actually see me making it. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and figure it out. But I will only always do the shopping before I do it. I'll probably just... Um, I'll probably just go on, do a bit of shopping first. Download what I want to download. And then I'll come on and show you what I've downloaded. And show you me making it. So I'll speak to you soon guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.